My name is Erin Hogue and I'm an action and adventure photographer. I work with a lot of professional athletes and so I wanted to create this series to show what is going on in these sort of remote locations. In order for you to get a little bit more from the photos when you see them, you'll kind of see what it actually took to be able to make it possible. This is the story behind the photos. So today I'm shooting with She Shreds Mountain Adventures and it's an all girls snowmobile sledding clinic and they're doing a short web series for Toyota. I always get extra nervous when I'm going out with sledders because sledders are crazy. So they don't make great trails, they just go. This is a casual 9 a.m. meeting time to which I got lost. So I had to park so far away from the actual parking lot. The avalanche conditions was pretty bad. So it was really, really heavy snow. It was really hard to get around. There was no one else out. There wasn't good light. So usually we wouldn't go out shooting on a day like that, but because everything was through and with her web series for Toyota, everything was pre-planned. So we had to go out that day. And we were breaking trail the whole way and everyone was getting stuck everywhere. And then I ended up getting stuck and I went to get unstuck and all I see is this little piece of metal shooting out from the side of one of my skis. And sure enough, my skeg on my ski of my snowmobile is completely shot. The gravel was not kind to it. And then we were trying to get to this cliff, so then it was such a mission. We finally get partway there, and the cliff isn't even good to hit, and by that point we just decided to call it. So for day two of the She Shreds Mountain Adventure, conditions were pretty much the same. We weren't gonna have very much light. It was gonna be pretty cloudy, and on top of that, we all had sled issues. There was the air and the steering column, and of course my ski, which completely was destroyed. All the girls like came together, we swapped it out, they made it all happen, and we got on the road. In the end, it worked out pretty good. I mean, we didn't get any of the cliff drops that I was hoping for, the jumps I was hoping for, but we got some really good pow photos and some good lifestyles. And one of them ended up in Flutter Magazine, so that was good. All in all, it was a really good shoot. 